Hey guys, it's Ty FPS again. Just want to make a small video on, uh, just really want to show uh, two programs that I use. Um, and whoever uses Windows 8, these programs will really help you. Um, one of them you can actually use on Windows XP, Windows 7. I've been using it way back since XP, and it made my life a lot easier. So, yeah. Um, something I noticed when I started using Windows 8, I just installed Windows 8 this week and I've been playing around with it. When I first started, I was actually pretty lost. Um, all these tiles and the start button and everything just lost me. So, um, I wanted to put some shortcuts to some websites that I use, but um, there was actually no way to do that. And So I looked up on Google and I found out that there is a way, but you have to use the Internet Explorer browser. And no one really uses Internet Explorer anymore, um, so that was kind of a bummer for me. So I looked around and um, I found a program called Obli Tile, and you can make tiles from that, and you can get images and all that good stuff. But the other program I want to show you is called Slick Run, and it's a macro program, and it's easy. It's pretty easy to set up and you can set apps, you can set programs to run off of it. So, let's go to the desktop, and if you look in the bottom right, here I'll actually just drag it out for you guys. This little box of slicker, and you can design the color, the format of everything, um, to say what you want, where you want, the form, date format, all that good stuff. So, you basically preset um, a combination key, Kind of, I guess you say, to activate it. And for me, mine is Shift Q. There's a couple different options, and you can set whatever letter, whatever number, whatever. So, um, let's say I want to go to Firefox. I do have a Firefox down here that I can just click, or I could just go from here. So I'm pretty limited. I mean, I have it everywhere. But if I just type in, I hit Shift Q, and then I just type Fox. It's, and it has a you know um, predictive so I just type in Fox hit enter Firefox pops up and it's really really easy to use um, I use it for pretty much everything you can set it to folders files um, programs everything so I mean if I want my iTunes if I want task manager I have um, my let's see I have my device manager you can also do um, your drives so if you want to pull up a folder um, let's see what else I mean there's just it's just whatever you want basically you find your exe you set it um, it's basically like a CMD um, you can run shutdown commands or whatever um, pull up CMD just straight through it so I'll show you how to set it up. Um, let me actually go through my program files real quick and see if I can find something that I don't have set up. Um, I don't think I have. Okay. I will set up my uTorrent. I don't believe I have one for it. Nope, I do. Uh, see, I, I do it really. I always get mine done pretty fast. So, okay. Um, if I wanted to go to a folder, let me get rid of this, all this stuff real quick. Let's say we're in a folder here, um, I don't know, go through here, go through here, go through here, go through here, okay. So we're way somewhere. If I want to use Slick Run for, let's say I want to get to this, I can literally just drag it over and it's, everything's already there and I just name it whatever you want that text file you can um, test it I guess it asks you sometimes what you want to use it with oh because it's the XML um, if I say that it'll load it up whatever that is so um, yeah, and then you just hit that text file, and it'll probably ask me what I want to use again. 
but let's say I just wanted to use just the folder, just drag just the folder, that folder, and there's no spaces, test it out, that's what's in it, so if you're just, hit, oops, that folder, pops up, simple as that. So um, with Windows 8, since there's no start button, um, I like that, that feature of Slick Run, and also when you are trying to get to your apps, you have to do your search, and you have everything around here, and honestly, it's, it's too much for me. I, I find it easier where all you have to do is just hit, you know, Shift Q, or from, that's why I like the Shift Q. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll probably show you guys a couple places that are probably important. Um, your system 32 file or your uh, SWOW, system WOW or something. Um, there's always some good stuff in there. These are for some things if you want to. Like how I have my task manager, you just go to your windows and then you find, if you're on a 32-bit, you find your system 32, I'm on 64-bit, and you just really go through and you see what these things are, um, like you can find your task, this is where task manager is, it's called T-Man, um, I mean they got a lot of stuff down here, you kind of just got to go through and see what they are, um, I had one, there's your CMD as I showed earlier. CMD you actually don't need, so um, computer management, I don't think I have this one, so if I was to put that there, I just put manage, test it out. It should bring up that one thing, um, that screen that has, yeah, your device manager, your disk management, all, all that stuff. So that's pretty much slick run. Um, you can do it like that to folders. Um, if you want to do anything in control panel, um, what I did was you just right click and then you create a shortcut. It'll appear on your desktop and then I put all mine in a folder and put it somewhere and then and then um, I got it with slick run. So that's pretty much Slick Run. Um, very useful. You can change the color, the font. Well, I don't know if you can change the font, but I know you can. Uh, there's a couple of things you can do with it. I like it. I mean, try it out, guys. It's actually really cool. Um, the second app I want to show you guys was Obli Tile. I have a setup for that on Slick Run, of course. Um, this is so that you can make your own tiles honestly um, I've made all these tiles right here I mean it's not a lot but I like to have shortcuts so I mean if I hit team executor brings me there opens Firefox for me so I'll show you how to set this one up fairly easy um, make your name I don't know what to call it. Let's, let's do one for YouTube. Uh, if you want to do program path, find out where it is. I believe I have a I have one up. Um, let's see. Yeah, I got one. Then sometimes it takes a while. Windows 8 is still, you know, I wouldn't say it's 100% stable. I had some problems with my antivirus earlier and I had to go download a whole new one. But I got that all fixed up anyway. So then you gotta pick your image. Um, your image, I actually downloaded an icon pack and I'll post that in the description and I was looking through it and there's actually no YouTube, which was pretty interesting to me because that's a pretty popular app. Anyway, so I'll just use Yahoo, and you find the first image, and you just find the same image for the second one, and what was it? Internet shortcuts, 
Yahoo, you pick your color, and then you create your tile. And actually, I actually had a problem with it earlier, and yeah, it's doing it again. Um, where my path is actually just a little bit different. So, what I'll do this time is, um, I'll actually just kind of do it manually. Um, find this here, put that there, and then slash YouTube dot URL. And I'll save it like that. And then, all I do, I'll have your app right there. Click on it. And there's YouTube. So that's just you know a quick little thing on how to do that. Um, yeah, um, it's a really useful app, and you can set it to programs. You can set it to files, folders, kind of just like Slick Run, and it's just for creating tiles. They in that um. Let me go to it real quick. The folder with all the icons. You can. He has like a reflective thing. You just drop a PNG image in there. Um, they have to be a certain size though. That's why I just got the icon pack because everything's already scaled to the good size. And all you do is you make your color. You can also do custom colors. <clears throat> I just I think it takes too long. So I was like, whatever. But that's pretty much it, guys. I um, just wanted to show you guys those two things. Great app. Slick Run I've been using for years now. I honestly don't like anything on my desktop. I don't like the clutter. So sometimes I just hide my icons and I just use Slick Run. And I mean, you can also set up websites to it. Like I got um, this side up. And it's, it's really easy to use. You can. Um, do setups, you can do CMD commands, if you make a command, another thing is you can create shortcuts, this is how I made all my um, my Fire, Firefox bookmarks that I linked Slick Run to and also that um, the other thing, to you just go through here and you type in your website or whatever, or you can type up um, a command, let's say I do... Uh, This is a shutdown command that you do through command prompt and let's see, just name it shutdown. It's gonna be on my desktop, but my icons are actually out of sight. So yeah, it's right there. So I could bring it through Slick Run if I wanted to, say one hour shut or just say one hour. And if I tested it should be a little thing that says to the side shut down 60 minutes so actually let me pull up CMD real quick and sh get that off because I don't want it to shut down in 60 minutes so that's pretty much it guys just rate, subscribe, comment